Me gusta porque está linda. Me gusta porque está bella. Me gusta. Before I get started actually making the ballistic knife, I'm going to explain what it is exactly that I'm making. Now, the ballistic knife has three main parts. It has the body, or the case that you hold on to, the spring, and this particular design is going to utilize two springs, one with a larger outside diameter, and then one, one that fits inside that larger one. It also has the bolt. The bolt is comprised of both the bolt body and the blade. Now let's look at the case a little more in depth. Essentially what it is, it's, it's a piece of pipe with a notch cut out. Okay? It has going to have a threaded end and which this end cap is going to thread onto. The reason I'm doing a threaded end and not making the end actually part of the case is that if I wanted to add any accessory to this knife, I would thread it onto this end cap. It's going to have knurled and striated lines cut into the case to help hold onto it. Uh, it's going to be cut mostly on the lathe, however I'm going to use a grinder and a dremel with a cutoff tool to cut this notch. Same thing for the end cap, it's going to be cut completely on the lathe, however using a dremel to cut it off. Moving on, look at the springs. The springs I'm not actually going to make myself. I'm going to buy them because I don't have a spring making set here, so there's not much to talk about. And then the blade. The blade's going to be the fun part. I have to take a piece of solid billet, solid billet aluminum and cut a hole out of it so that this longer spring will fit into the hole and provide greater thrust and momentum. I'm then going to drill a hole and put a piece of one quarter inch dowel steel dowel through there, knurl the ends, and this steel dowel is going to be the trigger mechanism. Because this piece of steel dowel is what's going to fit into the notch that's cut up here. And we have the blade. Now the blade's going to be cut using an angle grinder. I'm going to take a piece of probably quarter inch steel plate, uh, 1031 hardened. Um, I'm going to then cut a notch in the end of it and make a collet that will fit over that notch which is then welded to the bolt. So here I am at the lathe. Um, I have a piece of one and a half inch aluminum pipe, uh, half inch inside diameter, mounted up and this is gonna this is gonna become the handle. Um, let's go over a bit of terminology for the lathe. You have your headstock here, which has controls, your chuck, workpiece, bed, your crossfeed, quill, or sorry, quill, banjo, and tailstock. Okay? Might use those terms, not all too sure. Um, so what we're going to do now is just, if you notice, this part's shiny, but this part's dull. That's because it's out of alignment, right? It's not even. So I'm just going to do a rough cut and make this essentially one plane and then bore out the inside. If you noticed on that last run, I put this amber colored fluid on the cutting bit. And that's just a simple cutting oil that I use in order to keep the temperature of the bit down and the uh, cut cleaner than normal. However, like you saw, it does smoke a bit and isn't all that great to breathe in. Um, so I saw this rough patch right here, so I'm just going to tune this bring this down and then I can start boring on the inside. Alright, so I finished leveling out the surface of the case and now what I'm going to be doing is finishing the face 
and working on what's called the crown. Now the crown is a part in any object that shoots a projectile, whether it be a gun or a ballistic knife or whatever it is. What it is, is it's the inside edge of the very end of the muzzle or case or whatever it is that, that's being launched. And what you're going to do to that inside edge is you're going to put it at a very steep angle. And that helps the projectile, whether it be a bullet or a knife or whatever it is, help maintain its trajectory. So what I did is I adjusted the cross feet here to put my tool at a exactly 38.5 degree angle. I'm just going to go in and start cutting on it. So I've finished shaping the crown, now I'm going to start shaping the lines and contours and also the knurling on the body of the handle. So here's our finished billet aluminum handle. As you can see, I've added three grip lines here and one more down here. Um, I have didn't thread off the end for a time constraint, so I'm just going to make a cap and weld it on. Um, as you can see, I've also beveled over these edges for user comfort and crowned the inside. Um, all that's left to do is make the end cap, put the spring in, and then make the bolt. So now I'm going to start making the bolt. What I have here is the bolt stock and then a Jacob's chuck, which is essentially um, three little prongs that hold drill bits or other items that will bore into the front of the item. And the reason I'm boring into it is to make a small indentation that will allow me to keep the material stable while I'm turning it. So what I'm going to use is just the Jacob's chuck with a mounted center die in it. So I finished cutting all the pieces. We have the end cap, the bolt, the handle, and the release mechanism. So now what I'm going to do is start the welding procedure. So I'm going to take the handle, weld the cap to it, leave that as it is, then weld the release mechanism into the bolt. Like that. Me gusta, porque está linda. 
So I finished the knife. Um, in place of welding, what I did is for the end cap, I used what's called a JB weld, which is essentially really, 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 really strong metal glue. Um, not Elmer's. Um, and then for the bolt, um, I didn't use JB weld, and instead drilled the main hole, but then drilled a really tiny hole up on top and used a set screw, or machine to set screw, just really tiny little metal screw. There we go. Really, really tiny little metal screw that will fit into this hole. Now, the reason I did that was because I can now use this bar as a balancing device. So if my bolt doesn't fly true, I can just adjust the bar to adjust the weight distribution. After that, what I did is I took a hacksaw and a dremel and dremeled out and cut out this, um, this L-shaped piece here and used a sequential series of metal files to file it down to the correct size. After that, what I did is really simple. I just took a buffing wheel, um, fits seven inch grinder, and buffed out the majority of scratches. As you can see, the bolt is now scratched because I've been playing around with this a little bit. A little bunch of hairline scratches all over that. Um, and then just applied a nice aluminum polish to it. So it fits together pretty simple. You just slide this in to where you want it. Take your set screw. Screw it in. Make sure it's tight. Then the bolt just fits in. Sorry. Other way. And then locks. And what I'm going to do is have my spring. This is a shorter one, not the actual length. Just put your spring in, lock it down and turn. And then you just flip it to the side and it will launch.